So, you'd like to try the new Ubuntu 1110, but you don't like the Unity interface. Well, there is another flavor of Ubuntu out there. It's called Kubuntu. That's right, and it's sporting the magnificent KDE interface today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, welcome back to another episode of Spatry's Cup of Linux. Uh, something I wanted to announce, I'm now on Facebook and Twitter, so if you want to uh, stay up to date with all the things that are happening, you can subscribe to my channel here. Additionally, you can find me on Facebook as Linux Spatry and Linux Spatry on Twitter. So go ahead and uh, become my friend and follow me on Twitter and stay up to date. All right, now we're going to look at Kubuntu today. And uh, I'm running this from a live CD. I didn't bother installing this into a virtual machine. Personally, while I do think the KDE interface is very nice to look at, it's just not something for me. But a lot of people really do like this, and so I figured I'd go ahead and share this with you and show you what you're going to get if you decide to install this operating system. Okay, the first thing you'll notice here is that you have some new activities that you can add. You can add a panel, you can add widgets, there are other activities, shortcut settings, desktop settings, and then once you have your desktop set the way you want it, you can lock them widgets in place so that you're not moving them about all over the place. Additionally, you can access this menu right down here. And you can see that you can add widgets and there are more settings and that sort of thing. Let's have a look at some of these widgets that you can add. You have an application launcher. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We could, looks like they have a bunch of them. I just want a nice clock. All right, so we'll just go ahead and grab this clock and drag it up here. And that doesn't look like a clock to me. But I am sure that we can adjust this thing to look pretty much however we want it. So let's go into the settings on this and find out. Okay. Appearance, active LEDs, inactive LEDs, grid. Uh, how about uh, general, calendar, time zones. Oh, that's why. This is a binary clock. My bad. Never mind. <laughs> How about a nice old-fashioned clock for the Spatry Man? Ah, here we go, a digital clock. I'll take that. Let me put you over here. Okay, I can live with that one, and we can remove the binary clock. Of course, if you're a real geek, maybe you can understand what that means. I certainly can't. Okay, we have a nice clock on our screen. And then we can actually remove this one from the panel if we wanted to do that. But I am not going to bother to waste my time with that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, we've got a lovely K menu right here. And you already have in your favorites a web browser, personal contact information manager, your system setting, settings. Uh, it uses Dolphin as its file manager. Let's have a look at that. Pretty uh, standard, similar to what you would uh, find in uh, Genome. It just has its own. Uh, it just has its own. Some people like the look of this. I think that's kind of neat. Pretty cool, actually. Okay, cool beans. All right. Okay, and then we'll have a look at the applications in here. We have a number of them to choose from. First, let's look in games. There's only one game with this, so you're going to have to hit the software center to get all your favorite games. Uh, looks like a uh, card game. Mm, not really much for card games, you know, because I always have a losing hand, but it is what it is. Okay, let's see what we've got for graphics here. Next, we've got, come on. Oh. 
trying to run this uh, CD a little bit too fast here. I accidentally clicked to open LibreOffice, but you can see that it does have LibreOffice installed for all of your uh, for all of your spreadsheets, text documents, and all those other wonderful things. Thank you very much. Now can we close this and move on to what's installed here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go back into applications here. Let's look at graphics. You have a document viewer called Ocular. Very nice if you want to print your pictures. All right, you have a, a drawing program from LibreOffice, image viewer, and you have a screen capture program. Very nice. In internet, you have the BitTorrent client called KTorrent, uh, Blue De Devil for your Bluetooth. Uh, you also have Mozilla Firefox, or you can use their web browser Rick Hong, I think it's pronounced. I wonder what ever happened to um, Conqueror. That was a cool web browser that they had. It was much like Internet Explorer. Okay, let's see what else we have here. In multimedia, you have an audio player, a disc burner, a sound mixer, and a video player. So, if you want to do any multimedia editing, Go in the Software Center and get OpenShot, and you can cut up some video on this thing. In Office. All right, you've got a number of programs here, uh, mostly LibreOffice, and a few other little things here, a contact manager, personal organizi organizer, and a, a personal information manager. And of course, all of your system settings can be found here. So if you want to make changes to your system and customize it, you'll navigate to this menu and you can customize to your heart's content. We also have a system menu where you can install additional drivers. Has a nice package manager, partition editor, and a number of other things that you can uh, work with. There are utilities. Now, it doesn't look like Wine comes bundled with this, so if you want to install your Windows software, you're going to need to have to hit the, the uh, Package Manager or uh, go into the Ubuntu Software Center and then download it. Get Vineyard, too, if you're getting Wine. Okay, and then, of course, you can navigate your computer here. You have uh, Applications, your System Settings, your Home, Network, Root Folder, and of course this is where they keep your trash. Recently used, you can see that it shows applications that I just recently opened during this demonstration and then of course if you wish to leave it gives you options for going to sleep, restarting, or shut down. Well there you have it. Nice cut and dry short dissertation on Kubuntu 1110. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, see me on Facebook and Twitter, and you can stay up to date on everything that I'm doing here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.